report so often on police misusing police computer systems is almost as frequent as one attempting to abuse their position with a vulnerable victim of crime. But figures recently obtained have shown that between 2020 and 2021, more than 200 police officers and staff were caught illegally accessing the forces or their forces database for details about crimes, suspects, witnesses and victims. This illegal access included people viewing and downloading photographs from crime scenes, exhibits, body worn video and post mortems without a legitimate policing purpose. The disclosure under the Freedom of Information Act shows that 123 officers and 80 civilian staff were disciplined for breaching police rules on database security. That's nearly four every single week, although the true figure is likely to be higher as only 32 out of the 44 police forces in England and Wales responded to the Freedom of Information requests. In some recent cases, police used the confidential information to pursue women for sex. In fact, recently Oliver Perry Smith was jailed for three and a half years after he used police software to find out confidential information about a woman, such as a vehicle registration, to find a name and address so he could pester them for his own sexual needs. It's been said that, and we already know this anyway, Frequently, officers and staff misused their access to police databases to snoop on family, colleagues and neighbours. Cambridgeshire Police have said it had cases where police systems were searched by people snooping for details of family members. At Devon and Cornwall Police, two police constables got into trouble for looking up confidential details on their own children and a Norfolk police officer resigned after they were caught using the PNC to get details relating to a work colleague. In about a quarter of cases, 25%, the police offender was either fired or resigned before the case went to a disciplinary hearing. However, many more got away with just a warning or were told to reflect on their breach of the law. An inspection of Scotland Yard warned that the force did not have adequate IT systems to root out corrupt officers who could pass on information to criminals. HMICFRS said, Protecting this information is vital to integrity and operational effectiveness. Forces must therefore be able to monitor and audit all their IT systems to help identify individuals who misuse them for corrupt activity. Include inappropriate access to personal information, passing on information to organised crime gangs or using systems to identify vulnerable victims for sexual abuse. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another reason why you should never give your details to the police unless you're obliged to do so. Your details floating around on police computers readily available for another Oliver Perry Smith or perhaps even a Wayne Cousins should be enough to make you think twice about offering up any information you don't need to. After all, would you give your address to a random stranger on the street? I don't think you would. And the police are random strangers on the street. They just wear a uniform to make you feel that you must do as they say. Educate yourself. Learn what you can and cannot do. And stick up for your rights not to do things that you don't have to. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.